Sorry that took so long. Okay, so I know exactly how you take your coffee. I made it exactly the way you always order it at the coffee shop. I can't believe you never noticed me watching you there. <laughs> I mean, I would always have my hoodie up to try to disguise myself, but I thought for sure at some point you would realize you had this lovesick puppy girl following you around. <laughs> Here's your coffee. I'll just put it on the ground between the bars over here. You can come grab it. You notice the mug? I got it especially for you. <laughs> you see how it says world's best boss? <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. I know how much you love that TV show, The Office, and this is the mug Michael Scott drinks out of in it. I also thought it was funny because, <laughs> well, you're basically my boss around here. Whatever you tell me to do for you, I'm going to do it. Hey, why aren't you drinking it? Don't you want coffee? You, you can have coffee on a fast. Okay, well, we'll just let it cool off first. Okay, babe, I told you, I have really exciting news. So, when I broke into your apartment this morning to get you some clothes, actually took your laptop as well. I'm kind of a nerd, so I know how to break into a locked laptop. <laughs> I thought it would be smart to make some social media posts on your behalf so that your friends and family won't get worried and go looking for you. <laughs> so I made some posts letting people know that you realized you needed a vacation and decided to go on a silent retreat. Really. I just told them the truth. I let them all know you didn't want to be contacted. You got a lot of really supportive comments. People are so happy for you to finally do something for yourself for once. It looks like you have a lot of wonderful people in your life who really care about you. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> You're an amazing person to care about. Now, for the exciting part. <laughs> I'll preface this with an apology. I couldn't help myself. But I poked around in your search history. Oh, come on, don't give me that face. Every girl with a crush does it. Even Kim Kardashian totes herself as a professional online stalker. <laughs> Anyways, I was so incredibly excited to find that you looked me up recently. Multiple times. Just after we met, you googled me. And a few more times after that, I can't tell you the dance my heart did when I realized that this is not a one-sided relationship. I mean, I could tell you liked me. I could tell you thought I was pretty, but I didn't realize you liked me enough to Google me. <laughs> not only did I find that you Googled me. But you spent some serious time going through my social media photos. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I even found a couple pics of me downloaded to your laptop. Not surprisingly, they were the ones of me in a bikini in Hawaii. <laughs> naughty, naughty. But I guess if you were going to save any pictures of me, those made the most sense. <laughs> Don't look so embarrassed. I'm flattered. 
makes me so happy to know that you were thinking about me. Did you think about me often? I also read a conversation you had with your friend Mark on Instagram. Don't look mad. I have to start taking over your conversations at some point or people will get worried about you. And if they get worried, they'll try to find you and take you away from me. We can't have that. Anyways, this is a really good thing. I read a conversation you had where you were telling Mark about meeting me. You were so sweet and you told him I was the prettiest girl you'd seen in so long, which is nice. But what was so amazing to me is that you told him you felt like I was smart. That means a lot to me. It's so rare that anyone I date calls me smart or even cares that I could be. Usually all they care about is my looks. So seeing that you wrote that seriously meant more to me than I could ever tell you. <sighs> to be completely honest with you, I don't think anything could have made me happier than finding all that out today. Because now I know, I know for sure and I know for real that you love me. You love me too. I know you've thought about me. You know, it's almost better that you won't talk to me right now and that I, I found it out this way. If you had just told me that, I hate to say it, but I may not have believed you. I may have thought it was just a ruse to gain my trust so I would free you, but because I found it on my own, do you know what this means? It means that I know our love is real. I know our love is true. Look at me. No, look at me. This is what you wanted. You manifested this into reality. You manifested yourself right here into my life. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I'm so happy for us. This is the perfect start to our epic romance. <laughs> Babe, why don't you look more excited? This is really, really huge news. It gives us a level of trust that I don't know that we would have been able to get to on our own. Couldn't you at least crack a smile? You're hurting my feelings. Oh, oh, you're going to have some of your coffee. That's great. I'm, I'm so glad to see you ingest something. That's wonderful. <laughs> What the hell? What the hell is wrong with you? You could have hit me. That coffee was near boiling too. Have you lost your mind? Because I'll help you find it. 
I got that mug special for you because I thought you would love it. And you just smash it against the wall like an animal? Who do you think you are? What makes you think you can pull crap like that and get away with it? You think because I love you, I'm going to let you get away with nonsense like this? I told you once, I don't take abuse. Not from you. Not from anyone. Have you forgotten where you are? Have you forgotten the quite delicate situation you are in? You think you can act like an animal around here and get away with it? What gives you the right? What gives you the right to treat me like this? This is a big day. This is big stuff for us. Please don't ruin it with childish behavior. This is because you're not eating. You're not thinking with your right mind. I remember when I was doing that fast years ago. I was highly emotional. I couldn't think straight. You just can't think straight. You didn't mean it. I know you'd never try to hurt me. You love me. You love me. I saw evidence of it myself with my own eyes. I'm not gonna let you ruin our special moment. Nope. <laughs> I won't let your temporary insanity take that away from me. I won't. We love each other. And sometimes, love makes you do crazy things. Everything is heightened right now. Every emotion that we're feeling, we're feeling it 100 times bigger than we would at any other time in our lives. We have to keep that in mind. This is not a normal circumstance, so... So we're going to need an abnormal amount of patience with each other. So I'll forgive you. Under any other circumstance, I don't think I could. But considering all that you're going through right now, and the fact that you haven't eaten in a long time, I'm going to choose to forgive you. Now, can you Forgive me, too, for what I've done to you.
can you finally, truly forgive me and accept that I did it all for you? I want us to have a fresh new start. We can only do that if we both find it in our hearts to truly forgive each other. Clean slate. It's our only chance at happiness right now. Come on. Come on. Hey, hey, what's the alternative? The alternative is pretty dark, isn't it? I don't think you want to see what's behind door number two. You don't. Think long and hard about this. Think about how long you want to hold this grudge. I'm not going to force you to do anything. I'm not even going to force you to forgive me. But I want to gently encourage you to choose love. Choose happiness. It's what you wanted in the first place. I am what you wanted in the first place. Trust your heart. It's what led you to me to begin with. Now, Today is a day for celebrating. So let's celebrate. <laughs> Let me see that smile. <laughs> Come on. Just a little one. Just a little itty bitty teensy tiny smirk <laughs> and come on you're so pretty when you smile I'd even take a half smile if you got it in you come on smile There you go. <laughs> There's that beautifully lit up face I've been dreaming about non-stop. <laughs> you know you could have been a model. I love seeing you happy. It's all I need. This has been a pretty amazing day, aside from one bad moment <laughs> it's been almost perfect I learned that you have love for me too and I got to see true happiness in your beautiful face <laughs> it doesn't get much better than that now does it